famous scientist Einstein said that science without religion is blind and religion without science is lame. So we need science and we need spirituality, religion. Science is about outer landscape. Religion and spirituality is about inner landscape. And when you can be aware and mindful of the outer landscape through science and inner landscape through religion and spirituality then you have a good balance the universe is made of harmony and and the sun is in harmony with so the soil the soil is in harmony with the trees birds are in harmony with the branches uh, air is in harmony with our breathing we are living in a world of harmony and knowledge of harmony is science and a practice of harmony is spirituality. And so religion and spirituality are one aspect, science and technology are the other aspect. And when they go together, then we have a complete picture. Yes. If you have a science without religion, without ethics, without spirituality, you can go in the wrong direction, producing nuclear weapons, uh, producing genetic engineering, uh, producing technology which does not serve humanity, or exploit humanity, does not serve uh, the earth, rather it exploits the earth. And so you need a spirituality for science. If you have no science, then spirituality can also become dogmatic and it become narrow and it can become fundamentalist. So you have a, a Muslim fundamentalism, Hindu fundamentalism, Christian fundamentalism, um, Buddhist fundamentalism. This kind of dogmatic, narrow-minded fundamentalism is the result of unscientific thinking. So in my belief, science and spirituality are two arms of one body. Why to have only one arm when you can have two arms? And so science and spirituality should go together. Well, if you teach children science and spirituality together, then inner landscape will be developed and they will learn to love, to respect, to have generosity, to have a trust, to have a confidence, to, to take care of each other, uh, to have a compassion. All these qualities are qualities of inner landscape, spiritual landscape, religious landscape. And then if you have a scientific uh, uh, training, then with ethical, compassionate beliefs, they will make beautiful things, they will look after the, the trees, and they will know how everything uh, fits together. Because everything is related, everything is connected. And if they know science, then they will see that interconnection and interdependence. When you have a spirituality, they will learn to revere and have a reverence for life, have a respect for life, you have a compassion for life. So these two things are a wonderful combination we need to have a we need a dance of spirituality and science it's, spirituality is a more feminine principle and science is a more masculine principle so if you have a dance of male and female dance of uh, science and spirituality then you have a beautiful life and beautiful pleasure and joy and celebration